Hey guys, Elizabeth, the curly haired country gal here. And today I just wanted to give you a little bit of a peek into what I'm doing here as far as raising food. My goal is to raise 100% of our own food someday. That's a big goal, but uh, that's my kind of my dream. And my, my hope is to raise the highest quality meat and produce at the lowest possible cost. So check out my other videos where I talk about the compost system I have and the chickens and the breeding method that I'm hoping to use with them and the rabbits. But I just wanted to show you kind of a little bit of the setup that we have. So over by the house, I'm going to have some raised beds and those are going to be specifically for raising greens so that it's really easy and convenient to come out and harvest some greens for a meal. And then out here is where I'm going to be developing a food forest. So I'm really excited about that. Out here, it might be a little hard to tell, but all these trees in here are, are peach trees. There's rows, uh, about one, two, three, four, five rows of peach trees and then farther back that you can't see past the compost system um, there are f I think another five rows of apple trees and so this is a pretty well established orchard which I'm so excited about we only moved here a year and a half ago but this you know obviously this was already here and that was a huge bonus for me and uh, um, just something I was really excited about now the the trees should be producing but we actually didn't get any fruit off the trees this year and I think it was because of some hard frost that we got and I didn't know well enough how to do anything about it anyway so I'm more equipped next year to know maybe how to those plants to not freeze but <clears throat> I'm hopeful that next year we can get some fruit but anyway up, uh, so in here is where I'm going to be starting the food forest which if you're not familiar with the idea is to have a canopy layer which would be the trees and then a shrub layer I, I hope to plant many many berry bushes uh, maybe this fall and winter and I won't be getting fruit from those next year because I want to focus on the root system but that's another video so it's going to be berries in between the rows in between the trees and then on the ground it's going to be the ground layer which is going to be whatever it's I hope to grow lots of things we, we eat a ton of different kinds of vegetables that's going to be grown in here so the, I've been making my compost that I'm going to be growing in for the first time next year so subscribe and stick with me to see how that goes I'm so excited um, but I've been making this compost with the chicken setup so check out that video and I probably I, again I estimate that I maybe have like five cubic yards or so there's a lot of soil in here that I have been making since since March well that you know the bugs have been making and the chickens have been helping to make but I've been facilitating <laughs> so this is the first row here I'm using logs at, right now as the edges of the beds and I don't think that's a great long-term solution even though I charred them and have put flax seed oil on the outside to seal them. I think that's going to help, but uh, I'm, I'm moving towards using cement blocks to have a retaining wall. So there'll be a how-to video on that when I'm ready. But yeah, this is the orchard and future food forest. I'm laying down a lot of cardboard underneath <clears throat> the compost. Uh, the, the beds are, are going to be five and a half feet wide. And the reason for that is because I'm going to buy the polypropylene I don't think that's the right word, poly, I think that maybe that is right, polypropylene, poly something <laughs> cover that the Living Traditions Homestead recommended and that's six feet wide. So I wanted to make it, I wanted to make the beds a little less than that to have a little bit of overlap. So that's what my, my plan is with that. And then I, I am planning on having at least six feet in between each row so that our mower can easily get in between each row, but I'm just going to do one, one row at a time because this is already going to be a huge amount of space to grow stuff in. So I'm really excited to, to see what comes next year and what we're able to grow. So feel free to join us on this journey and uh, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much.